welcome back to my channel and welcome to an upsettingly small home bargains haul. You're quite high, I can't get you lower, I've given up. It, it makes me look slimmer so we'll stick with it but that wasn't the intention believe it or not. I say upsettingly small home bargains haul because I have a total of, did it tell you how many items you've got on your receipt? No I don't think it does. I'll have to count them, stop being lazy Carla. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. About eighteen items. I am that lazy that I gave up counting. Eighteen items, and it cost me thirty-five quid. A thirty-pound home bargains haul used to be a thing of beauty. It is no longer a thing of beauty. It's now just a thing of of like. Hmm. I have bought a couple of things which perhaps have bumped the price up a bit. One of which is entirely superf sur superfluous, sur 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 superfluous, superfluous, and I did not need to buy it. But I wanted it, and I bought it to cheer myself up. And this item here cost more than I realised. I'm pretty sure it said 2 99 on the shelf and on the receipt is 4 49 Let's show you that first. It's a bamboo tray. I'm sure it said 2 99 on the shelf. I'm becoming less sure, obviously. It is to go on top of the cooker. I have on top of the cooker a little tray um, and it has like the cooking oil and the olive oil and the oil spray and the oxo cubes and all the things that you reach for really regularly when you're cooking. But when I took it all off yesterday because the guy came to clean the cooker, when I took it all off yesterday and realised the bottom of it has got wet at some point and it must just have been like a composite board kind of thing it was made out of rather than wood and it's all kind of like swollen and gone baggy and soggy and weird so I thought I would get a nice new tray but I didn't expect to pay £4.49 for it I'm a little bit put out by that I thought it was £2.99 still it's what I needed and I've done it now so let's get over it and move on okay the rest of the stuff I'm gonna try and go down the receipt in order for something else which has gone up in price these used to be I'm sure they were three for a pound I'm sure they were like 30 something pence each or you could have three for a pound. They're 49p each now. They are mugshot roast chicken flavour. They're at 220 calories when you make them up. Um, so they're not really a particularly low calorie snack, but they are a very convenient thing. So I haven't had one for a while. I thought I'd get myself a couple of mugshots. I've got two of the same flavour, 220 calories, 49 pence each. They have moved their package on. It used to be plastic packaging and now it's paper packaging. So I suppose that's good. I've got a bag of Werther's Sugar Free. These are to take to work with me. Um, for some reason, I think I said this in the Calorie Crush a couple of weeks ago, is that I got into this habit of snacking at work and I nearly really need to break that habit. So I thought some sugar free sweeties might be the answer. Those are 99p. Cheapest thing I think in today's haul is a new nail brush. 39p for a nail brush. Do you need it explaining? The old one's buggered, we've got a new one. <laughs> Sometimes I think, why am I explaining this? These are these are people with brains. They do not need this explained. 39p for an airbrush. That's not bad, is it? Ringo, salt and vinegar. They've gone up. They used to be 99p. Then I won 19. I realise everything's gone up. And I realise I'm probably boring you senses. Going, they've gone up. That's gone up. This has gone up. But yeah, they've, they've gone up by 20p. So they've gone up by 20%, haven't they? They were a pound before. They're an extra 20. They've gone up by 20%. That's quite a large increase, really. Um, but they are only... 61 calories a packet so that's why i buy those this is my completely sur superfluous and unnecessary object that i spent 6.99 on 5.99 sorry 5.99 on him and i probably should have saved my money but i liked him and i justified it by the fact that i didn't buy a halloween gonk there was a really nice halloween one and i was tempted to buy him but i don't decorate for halloween i don't have small children we don't celebrate halloween as a festival if you're watching from america i know halloween is quite a big quite a big thing there and it's becoming a bigger thing in the uk but it's not something that we celebrate as a family here. And so I didn't buy the Halloween gonk, even though it was the cutest thing ever. And then I went around the corner and there was a Christmas gonk. So I thought I'd have a new Christmas gonk. And it was 5 99 and that's not the end of the world, is it? I mean, I've made one of these in the past and they're not that difficult to make, but 5 99 he's cute, isn't he? Don't you think? Is it just me? I don't know why I like him so much, but I do. Halloween sitting gonk decoration, 5 99 Sit there, gonk. Don't fall off the table. If you fall off the table, you'll get eaten by a dog. You've been warned. Oven liner. I did just mention, didn't I, that I had the oven cleaned yesterday. It cost me £70 to have the oven cleaned. That's a lot of money, but he's done a way, way better job than I could have done. Far better. 
Um, it, they, they, they bought a van with a dipping tank in it and they took all the bits out and they dipped them in the tank and brought them up looking like new. And I've never paid to have my oven clean before. And I've always had the time in the past to do it myself. This time I had let it go far too long. It was <laughs> Molly's bouncing around like a lunatic. It was beyond what I could willingly and do well myself. Willingly do myself and and do well. I couldn't have done a good job of it, and I wouldn't have been happy trying. Um, so it was. I think it was worth seventy quid. And I thought to prevent me having to pay seventy pound again, I will get one of these other liners and line the base and try and get back into a good habit of cleaning the oven more regularly. And an oven liner costs one ninety nine. I bought a hair turban. Where is it? Here it is. This was one ninety nine as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. I used to have one I wore at the time. I don't know what happened to the old one. I think I saw this and thought, oh, I'll have a new one of those. Can I get it off? I do like the fact that not only is it cardboard packaging, but instead of the plastic tie, they've replaced the plastic ties on the back now with string. So we're getting a little bit, because that's a one-use plastic, isn't it? The, the little plastic zip tie. So we're getting a little bit more eco-friendly bit by bit. I'm quite happy to pull a bit of string off of there. You don't need me to demonstrate this. I'm sure you've seen them, but they go on like this. I've probably got it back to front. Hang on. I, got, I don't know. You put them on and you twist your hair into it and then you tie it around the front. And um, and I thought I'd have one of them for one ninety nine. I think we've discovered why I spent £34.47 and I didn't intend to. And I've got bits of flipping hair turban on my head now that look like dandruff. <laughs> oh, we just pretend it's been snowing. If anybody asks in the comments, why what's that white stuff? Tell them it's snowing indoors. <laughs> I can't get it. However, I could use this. They haven't changed a string for this yet, and yet it's the same brand. Escapism hair, hair turban, escapism paddle brush, and yet that's still held on with plastic. Maybe they're just in the process of changing to um, changing to paper. And because of that plastic, I can't get it off there, and I was going to brush all the snow out of my hair with it. I think I can use it still attached to the paper. There we go, that's worked. <laughs> Um, I like a paddle brush. I have been told in previous videos that paddle brush is not the best one for my hair. But I like them and I'm sticking with them so there. And this was, I think, one ninety nine as well. Yeah, one ninety nine for a new paddle brush. I will label it. If you see my old hair brush, which you may have done. Oh, I've got that off. You may have seen my old hair brush in videos before. Now you'll notice there's a sticker on the back and you might have thought, I wonder what that says, that sticker on the back of there, because you may have seen me brushing my hair. And it says, Mum's brush, leave it the F alone. And the reason it says that is because Natalie steals my hairbrush on the regular. She borrows it. And as I have explained to her multiple times, borrowing is when you take something and then you bring it back. What you're doing is talking, as the police call it, which is taking without consent. So it'd be labelled mum's brush so that it doesn't disappear into her room. And then she goes, oh, I didn't know that was yours. Hmm. I got some Saint bars. One box for me, one box for my mother. They don't seem to have these near her. She doesn't have a home bargains for her side of town. And they don't seem to have these in B&M. They don't always have them in home bargains. I sometimes have to, you know, leap on them if I find them. But they had some today, so I've got one box for me and one box for mother. They're 99p per box, I think. Are they? Are you? Yeah, 99p a box. Five in the box, 97 calories per bar. But they're really nice. They taste far more like a nice treat than a, than a diet bar. Something I've never bought before in home bargains is their ready meals. And I saw this and I fancied this for tonight. It's butter chicken. I've been fancying a curry for a while. Microwave meal for one. It is 600 and something calories. I did look at the back of it in the shop. 657. Now that's high for a microwave meal. When I usually have microwave meals, I get the braised beef and mash and stuff like that. And they usually come in around about the 350 to 450 mark. So 650 is high, but I'm low on calories today anyway, because I've had salad for lunch. Um, so I've got enough calories to have this. If it's awful, I won't buy them again, but I thought it was worth a try and see if they're nice. They are £2.9p, which is quite cheap for a ready meal. So if they're nice, then it's um, then it'll be, that'll be worth knowing, you know? By the time I edit this, I'll have eaten that. And so I will put down here whether it was nice or not. I bought some of the Johnson's Makeup Be Gone Wipes. These are the ones I always use. These are my favourite. They are um, an oil-based oil based facial wipe and they just take off mascara not that I'm wearing anything today they take off mascara and eyeliner pretty much in one fell swoop rather than you having to scrub away so I really really rate those and they're 139 in home bargains they were 2.99 when I looked them in boots I nearly died I was like have you lost your mind Mr Boots so yeah 139 in home bargains I think they've gone up because I think they used to be 129 but even so they're still cheaper there than boots 
something else which is definitely gone up is Heinz beans and sausages. I like a can of these. They're 200 calories a can and I have them on a piece of toast. Sometimes I'm for breakfast, sometimes I'm for lunch. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm sure you understand about meals. But they have gone up in price because they used to be 179 and now they're 239 That's a leap and a half. 60p. 60p increase. I mean, is there a, a shortage of beans in the world or something? All beans have gone up, I've noticed. But yeah, 2 39 for three tins on those. It's a sad state of affairs when a tin of beans and sausages is starting to be considered as a treat, isn't it? <laughs> I got some festive meaty sticks. If, if, I tell you what, these aren't a bad price. These are one forty nine, and if things get too bad, I'll be having these as a treat instead of anything else. So one forty nine for festive meaty sticks. I only have one dog in the room at the moment. He's gone to sleep, so we won't we won't go racketing around looking for other dogs to give festive meaty sticks to. But you get, I mean, 600 grams. I don't know how many that is. Probably about, it might be 20-ish, I suppose, 600 grams. So 149, that's not bad. So one pack of dentist sticks. I'm sure they're not as good as dentist sticks, but they're the right shape for cleaning their teeth. One pack of dentist sticks, dentist sticks, like dentist, dentist, flab, dentist sticks, seven in a pack, one pound 50 or something like that, I think. So yeah, that's, um, they're definitely cheaper. I've shown you my hairbrush already. I've I've gone off off piece on me on me um receipt. I bought a dishmatic. You've seen these before, I'm sure. You put your washing up liquid in them, and then you scrubity scrubity scrub. We have a dishwasher, and I'm I I worship my dishwasher. If it died, I'd replace it as soon as I possibly could. But you still there still are some things that you do by hand. So scrubity dishwasher scrubber thing, eighty nine p for that. It says single use. Why is it single use? I think it's single use because you can't replace the sponge. I think that's why they've called it single use. But it's not single use because you can use it many times until the sponge wears out, can't you? So, I don't know. yeah. I bought a square container. I'm hoping this is big enough to put all of my Protein World pancake mix in. I bought four tubs of Protein World pancake mix. They, they popped up in a video a couple of weeks ago, I think. Four tubs of that because it was in the Holland and Barrett half one, buy one, I get one half price sale. But the tubs are quite bulky. And I'm thinking I might be able to get one, two, th at least three lots into here and take up less space with that. So that's, I'm going to try that in a minute. That was 2 .99. Now I'm puzzled because the last thing on my receipt are these Cars Cheese Melts and I've got another item on my table. The Cars Cheese Melts are 125. They're 22 calories per biscuit. I don't know how they're wrapped inside. Hang on. They're just in one big long tube. It would have been nice if they were in sort of five in a little packet or something, but they're not. They're just in one big long tube. But I've been enjoying pate recently. I've been buying the reduced fat pate from Lidl's or Aldi, and it's not too bad on calories. I've been having it on a biscuit with some caramelised red onion thing stuff. It's been a really, really nice lunch or a snack. And so I thought I would try the cheese melts. Now, what I'm puzzled about is the fact that I have here a large thing of comfort. I know it was three pounds something. It's not anywhere on my receipt. I'm going to read my receipt just in case I'm just missing it. Mugshot, mugshot, Werther's, nail brush, Ringo's, Gonk, oven liner, bamboo hair turban, St. Bars, butter chicken, Johnson's wipes, Heinz beans and sausages, meaty sticks, paddle brush, dish matic, square container, bamboo tray, cheese melts. It's not on there and yet that's that's three pounds something. I'm going to have to go back to Home Bargains and tell them they haven't charged me for that. Which is a pain in the ass. I'll go back tomorrow. I'll go back today. I'll go back tomorrow and tell them they haven't charged me for that and pay for it because I don't... Um... Yeah, but it's not on my receipt anywhere and I've definitely bought it because here it is. It, it is the Comfort Cocoa Fantasy Softener. It's really nice. Um, it's three three twenty five, and I nearly fell into the trap of getting the bigger looking bottle for 2 99 of a different flavour, fragrance, scent, aroma, whatever they call it. And then I looked at the number of washes and the bigger looking bottle was 54 washes and this is 78. So although it was 25p more, it's more, it's not condensed, that's not the word I want, is it? It's more, um, the word will be on here somewhere, Con concentrated, it's more concentrated. So you actually get more washes for 25p more. And I've managed to get a whole thing for free. Like I said, I will go back and sort that. I don't know how she's how she passed this through the scanner without it scanning. That's quite a heavy item. You thought she'd have noticed. 
Anyway, that means my bill should have been more like £38. And that does go to show how much things have increased in price, doesn't it? Because I've got very little here for £38. Hmm. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this short haul video. I think we've got 15 minutes and it'll be a bit less by, by, by the time I take out all of the bits where I can't speak properly and all the ums and ums, it'll be a bit shorter. I hope you've enjoyed this haul video. It is really only I popped in to pick up a few bits and here I, here I am 38 quid later or whatever, but stuff we needed, apart from the gonk. Didn't need a gonk. Can't honestly say I needed a gonk. Probably could have gone by without the bamboo tray. Probably just could have carried on with the one that's out there. But ho hum. If I can't treat myself to a six pounds with a gonk and four quids with a bamboo tray, then it's a sad state of affairs. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.